you may find it necessary to drop grade items from the category in your gradebook. There are two options when, when dropping grade items from a category. You can assign a number of the highest scoring items to drop per user or assign the number of lowest scoring items to drop per user. Now you should note it is, it is a good idea to wait until the end of the semester before you want to drop a grade, uh, grade items from a category. If you set up your grade book categories to drop grade items before there are any grades recorded, the first grades you enter in the category will drop automatically, leaving your gradebook unbalanced. So in other words, if you only have one grade item and you've, you've put in, you want that to be dropped um, from the beginning of the semester and the students take that first quiz, even though there may be 10 quizzes, that first quiz will say dropped, even though the student maybe got a 90, and now the student's confused because it says dropped and their grade is a zero. So it's best to just wait until the end of the semester to drop the lowest grade. Um, so this problem of the gradebook being unbalanced will continue until you've entered all of the grades. Only then will the grade item in each category drop. Now to do this in a weighted gradebook, you're going to click on grades on the nav bar. You're then going to click, you'll be in the manage grades area, and you're going to go ahead and have to understand that there are two conditions that must be met before you can drop any grades. The first one is the grade items must reside in a, within a category. If it's not within a category, you can't drop that grade item. The second one is the weights of all the grade items within the category must be distributed evenly across the item. So what I'm looking at is this last column that says weight. And as I look at this, I can see that this category has the same weight for all the grade items. So that's one that I could drop a grade item. But now you look at this other one, the essay assignments. All the weights are not evenly distributed, so I cannot drop the lowest grade in this category unless I go ahead and make the weights of each item distributed evenly. As I look at this quizzes, that one looks like it's good to go, it meets both criteria and so does discussion forums. So I'm going to use the discussion forums. I'm going to click on the context menu next to the category. I'm going to click edit grade item. Make sure that the distribute weight evenly across all items is selected. And if you set up your grade, weighted grade book correctly, you probably already have it set that way. Now you're going to enter the number of non-bonus items to drop for the highest or lowest grades. If you choose to drop one of the highest, for example, non-bonus items, that option is used to drop the user's highest grade in the category. Most times you're going to be dropping the lowest grade. So if I put one in there, that means that I'm going to drop the lowest non-bonus item in this category that the user's lowest grade, and it will, not, it will be, not be calculated in the final grade. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close. Now there's really no indication, except for that little Save Successfully, that this is actually working. But I can show you how it is working. If I go to the Enter Grades area, and now I'm going to have to scroll over as soon as the grade book comes up. So I'm going to scroll over to discussion forums. Where's, there it is. So you can see here's some discussion forums, here's some discussion forums, and here this one that has this exclamation point, that's how you know that this has been the grade that has been dropped. That's the lowest grade of what the student got for all of the grades in that category. Now, how does the student know that they that this is dropped? Well, again, visually, it's really kind of nice. If you click on a student's name here, and then if I click on the context menu in preview, this is exactly what the student is seeing. And if the student's looking at this, they'll see that this grade has been dropped. So you can see why it's important to wait until the end of the semester to do this dropping, because if this was the first grade that you put in here, this 45 out of 50, it would be it would say dropped and the student would have a zero and they would freak out so by waiting at the end of the semester the student can then see exactly which one is dropped because that's the lowest